Are you ready, Mike? Yep. Awesome. All right. Here we go. We can see it, Mike. Okay. I was worried. Yep, there it is. Okay, here we go. Semifinals. Yeah, this uh, makes some angry people. <laughs> So first up, we have Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, number one, versus Batman, 366. The winner here won with a 52.63%. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was really close. So there were an odd number of voters, so everything's uh, as the, the uh, fraction there. And there we go. Moon Knight. Tag on. So I'm happy for the Moon Knight uh, submission. I'm really disappointed because uh, I love the uh, Kidney Punch Batman. Yep. 366. R.I.P. Kidney Punch Batman. Yep. <laughs> Next up, Captain America number two versus Uncanny X Men 222. This was our biggest win of the week. 89.47% of the votes went to Captain America number two. Oh, sad days. Tag on. I mean, I love that cap cover, though, but, well, I love it a little bit less ever since Tom pointed out he's dragging the flag, but... Uh... Yeah, you're gonna lose to somebody, Captain America, right, Kevin? You know. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly, right. Alex Ross, Captain America. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. Next up, Wonder Woman seventy-two versus Action Comics four nineteen, and the winner here had fifty-seven point eight nine percent. I think I'll just drop the the points just to make it easier. So fifty-seven percent of the vote. Okay. <laughs> I'm overcomplicating it. Gotcha. <laughs> Wonder Woman seventy-two. That was a, that was a close one. That's great. All right. Next up, Venom Lethal Protector versus Batman Superman World's Finest Number One, and the victor here also fifty-seven percent. Oh, geez. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Thank you. Outlast. The Batman and Superman, world's finest number one. Moving on. Okay, nice. All right, so what are we doing? We've dropped one Venom. We kept the Moon Knight. Nothing against these, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> Moon Knight is dominating. So here we are. Next up, we have Venom number one versus classic X-Men number one. Oh, jeez. The victor had 73% of the vote. Are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> yes! Classic <laughs> X-Men holds out. Oh, awesome. That is, I mean, sorry, Venom fans, but I, you know. Gold school cover. Yeah, these are obviously great covers, but what's even more awesome in my opinion so far is the artists that are surviving you know yeah so got alex ross here and uh that wonder woman's perez right brian boland brian boland oh boy okay and uh then we got art germ we got art adams i mean I, I'm, I'm liking the artists surviving as well. 
Next up, this was uh, probably one of the toughest ones for people to choose. And uh, the winner here had 52%. It was close. Oh, man. Fails again. Yeah. That's a tough one. I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> yeah. We're both great. Both great. So, you know, you can't yeah, be I'm wrong either way. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised, but but I mean happy and surprised though. I thought Wonder Woman was going to take that one. I know some people were kind of uh, paying attention, seeing the votes, and kind of you can kind of figure who's going to win based on if you're looking at the votes. But I haven't been looking, you know. So I I thought Wonder Woman was going to take this one, but yeah, I don't I don't look at all until I count them all up Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. Cause I don't, yeah, I don't want to see how it's building. I just want to look at it and see all the votes are there. And finally, Moon Knight number nine versus Batman fifty-five. So let's see, Venom has been wiped out, right? Oh wow, yeah, I didn't realize that he's all he's gone. Yep, yep, didn't think of that. There were two Venoms and two Moon Knights. Can Moon Knight withstand Batman. 73% of the votes went for Batman. Oh! 55. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. I mean, there were also two Wonder Womans previously, too. Now we're down to one Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a great, that's a great mix. I like it. Yeah. So... Sorry, I was just going to ask a question that you're probably getting ready to talk about. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. No, I was just going to say, um, yeah, I mean, so those are our matchups for next week. <clears throat> well, they're going to join ASM. What what number was that? 151. So ASM 151 is the eighth of the eight finalists, right? Yeah. Man, that is an awesome group. That's a great group, man. It is. I've it got them here. Are we ready? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Right. I'm going to reformat the screen. Oh, actually, I think it covers the whole thing. There's the first matchup Amazing Spider Man 151 versus Batman 55. Ah, okay. <laughs> There's a real potential crazy matchup that's possible. Let's see if it happens. Mike already knows, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, I know what you're talking about, Pat. I'm clueless. Okay, next up, well, I think this is gonna uh, answer Patrick's. Question. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here, were you it's thinking awesome, Alex man. Ross versus Alex Ross? Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking about Cap and uh, Harley yeah. Quinn matchup. Gotcha. That would be yeah. sick. This is a brutal one, though. It is. Yeah, that's. Man. Yes, <laughs> it is. Dang. All right. All right. So that's uh, Harley Quinn, Batman Harley Quinn versus Classic X Men number one. Next, Moon Knight Black, White, and Blood number one versus Wonder Woman 72. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, we have Captain America number two versus oh. Finest. So it, it would have been great had I been able to manipulate this and, and not use the wheel. I think the Alex Ross head to head would have been fantastic. But um, yeah, I mean, this was pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Ah man, okay. I mean, we are getting down to it. Next week we're down to four books. Yeah. And just so everybody knows, you know, we get our viewers up. We actually talked about uh planning on doing the finals in one show. You know, have people vote on the show and get down to the champ in one show. But uh We've concluded we don't have the viewership for that yet to make it very interesting. So we'll uh, 
hopefully be able to get there and uh, someday in the future that's how the finals will work but i guess right now finals are just going to play out like the rest right we'll have four weeks of the finals basically right we got yeah because next week we're down to four and then two and then the following one will be the, the number one yeah okay it's good stuff all right, I think that now, now that we're down to eight covers, the uh, that's another uh, giveaway that is going to the wayside. That if you didn't get your predictions in uh, yet, the pickings are so slim that uh, uh, that uh, being able to win something is over. And I think the uh, picks that we got for the champs have already been eliminated as well. Uh one of them has let me go back i think yeah the other one is still oh it is it's still in action yeah oh okay all right that's good okay awesome yeah that's exciting yeah it is it is yeah they all have to win obviously but okay so great job again mike i know that's a lot of work for you so i wanted to uh Am I spinning the wheel? Yeah, that's what I, I wanted to do, uh, a giveaway. And what I wanted to do, too, with the giveaways is, like I said, some uh, interesting, uh, you know, trivia questions. And like I said, most you, mostly for y'all because uh, they're kind of uh, really tough, I think. Um, but if anybody knows in the comments, you want to comment, uh, I'd love to see that as well. Okay. So, and I'm, I, this one, ha I have, uh, a sound effect on this one too. And it's only sounds actually, because this was during the podcast days. Okay. So what meaning, I mean, we're still a podcast, but when it was just a podcast, there was no live stream. Okay. So what was the first episode that we finally decided on the name of the show that's stuck that exists today? What episode was it that we finally concluded to get there? I don't like the number. Yeah, yeah. What, what episode number? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we answering? Because I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, this these are just mostly for y'all. Yeah. Three. Uh, but if someone knows and they want to comment, feel free. If somebody beats y'all, I'm gonna be really impressed. But you I said gonna say three? Three. I was gonna say three also, but since he took it, I'll say four. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna play this and uh hopefully you can hear this. Uh when I start playing this, I'm gonna come back to y'all. And if you're shaking, if you're shaking your head yes, that means you can hear it well. Okay. If uh, if if you're shaking your head no, I need to stop it uh, because I'm hoping you can hear this well. Because I'm just gonna literally play the podcast that I edited to give you the answer to this question. I'm just gonna play it through my laptop as well. So I'm hoping you know what I'm saying. So yeah. right. Okay. Yep. So first, I'm gonna when I do this today, I'm gonna do this as well. Put this up. This little one year anniversary trivia and uh hopefully y'all enjoy this and then i'll reveal what the answer to the first question is after we listen to this all right welcome to comics and coffee with kevin Oh, that's catchy. Oh, yeah. Johnny, Mike, and myself, we all kind of landed on comics in the crawl space, and who knows, that might change again. But that's what it is for episode two. All right, welcome to comics in the crawl space. All right, here we go. No, it's already started, Matt. Oh, it's already started. Or. We're currently in your next, or the next episode of your favorite podcast, 
comics in the crawl space. Um, so I was actually going to say this first order of business is I want to change the name of the podcast. Again, again, <laughs> yeah. Well. Like, how about this simple comics and gaming in the crawl space? Gaming doesn't start with like that. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Because that's why the name is currently cool because it's like two seats. Right. Yeah, we get cross it. Yeah, I know. Where? Comics and controllers in the crawl space. Oh, comics and controllers, that limits. But well, we're happen. talking about tabletop games here. Like comics and cards. Comics and collectibles. So comics and collectibles in the crawl space. How about chatting about comics and collectibles in the crawl space? That's what I'm talking about. Draw the line and chatting. <laughs> you said chatting, I didn't hear you. Chats. Chats? Like, like no, it's too many words. You need to catch them. That's why I like comics and crawl space. How about comms and calls in the crawl space? Comics and collectibles. We'll, we'll, we'll go with comics and collectibles in the crawl space for now until we change our mind again. And we've started. Welcome to uh, comics and collectibles in the crawl space. Change that name last time. All right, there you go, man. I'm an idiot. I like I <laughs> I muted myself because of course I was making noise. And I didn't think about how dummy that's muting the podcast as well. Yeah. There you go. Um, and uh did you see I put up uh Karen's guess? And Karen knows the show better than y'all. It was episode six. Episode six. All right. Was the first episode that we you we that we started the episode that way, and obviously it's been that way ever since. Great job, Karen. And like I said, uh, these are tough, so you know, uh, definitely, you know, not really throwing shade, just messing. So, <laughs> okay, all right, let's do a uh, giveaway. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with not remembering though. <laughs> <laughs> and you know I, I that was like a minute i wanted to show the conversations a minute and a half i think i think was it let me see oh two and a half i'm sorry um but i wanted to have all the conversations up to how we got there you know and i thought it was pretty funny yeah. you know so anyway um so first giveaway we are going to Give Karen an option of a comic, a Pokemon booster pack, or a Magic the Gathering booster pack. Uh, so, or I'm sorry, it's not Karen. We're spinning the wheel. We're spinning the wheel. Karen, sorry, you didn't get any prize for, for getting that right. We're spinning the wheel. But I'll see if I can rig it for you, Karen. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Karen. We're spinning the wheel. So, so who, somebody, whoever you um, land on when you spin the wheel, gets right. a choice of uh, those two booster packs or a comic, and uh, <laughs> it's it's going to be your choice. So, go ahead and spin it, Mike. Who you got? Okay. Yeah. My choice. Ah, that's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mom wins. Nice. <laughs> She's like, these will be great. I can give these away to my uh, family yeah. uh, for Christmas or birthdays or something. <laughs> Someone special's birthday is coming up soon. So, uh, so well, mom, let, let me know whether you want a Magic the Gathering booster pack, a Pokemon booster pack, or a comic book of your favorite superhero. When I was putting her name in, I was like, okay. Don't know if she's really gonna want the prize, but <laughs> I guarantee, you, like I said, she'll she'll love it as a as a gift. So, and uh, incidentally, I don't even know if I told anybody. Uh, you comment in the in the stream that you're here, and your name gets put on that wheel. You can only win one prize today, though. Right? This is for everybody too. Yeah. So you you want to let the kids know, you know, and uh, everybody let everyone know. Anybody that's here in comments gets put gets put on that wheel for all our giveaways 
today.